Hello everyone and welcome to Monkey Juice Football Commentary. So here we are. It's our first match of a brand new competition called the Highlander Cup. This has been set up by uh, the fellas over at MBBL Online. So for those of you who haven't followed before, MBBL is the league that I normally run. It's a tabletop league in the heart of Birmingham in England. Um, but obviously we can't do that at the moment. So the lads from there have worked together to set up MBBL Online. We normally do the spin, but now we have scheduled games with the Highlander Cup. So we're going to be playing the very first game of the Highlander Cup. And to do that, we've got our long bottom briars. So I should say all the players, all the coaches rather, in this league were given a choice of two teams to pick. I think mine was Skaven and Halflings, and with it being me, I decided I'd try the Halflings out rather than go with the Skaven. So we're here with the Longbottom Briars. It's a Halfling team. I maybe just went too many Halflings here, so starting obviously with the two trees. But I decided to get a couple of reserves um, in the form of the Dimmock brothers. So Jokriadok and Riffo Dimmock. Uh, they're both twins there. And then, yeah, we've got the rest of the team. All rearing and ready to go. Uh, but yeah, I was... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I got too many. Maybe I got too many. But we're about to start our game. Here we go. So we're going against Wood Elf Team. HP Woodcraft. And if I'm not mistaken, these are named after different trees. And then different monsters in the Lovecraftian universe. So it'll be interesting. We've got Tree Man with just the one War Dancer, a couple of catches and a thrower. But I think even one War Dancer is going to be plenty for us to be busy with. Okay, so I think my opponent is ready. I'm going to start the match. Cool. I've just sent the invitation. Wow, that was quick. Playing against the Jammy Blodger, no less. Okay, so we've got 150k. So I'm thinking we take the chef. And that way they might have to play with zero re-rolls. So we'll get that. And we'll get one babe. I don't think we can get much else. We haven't got any cash. Oh, we've got quite a bit of cash in the uh, in the bank there. So we can take Puggy, I think. Oh no, we can't. So you only get a certain amount. Okay, so we'll just take the uh, the babe then, in case we get any KOs. Have to leave it at that. So we'll hopefully grab their rerolls. So the Wood Elves will be playing with zero rerolls. Yes, this is pretty exciting. I haven't really played competitively with halflings. I know that might sound like a bit of an oxymoron, competitive halflings, but yeah, it'll be uh, it'll definitely be an experience. Uh, it's worth mentioning as well uh, that on my Twitch stream we are now Twitch affiliate, and that's definitely a big thanks to uh, the folks over at the Totally Relaxed Blood Bowl League for supporting the stream to do that so if you wanted to subscribe you can do now there we go this is the long bottom briars hi there El Widgerino you've paused Ozark <laughs> I've heard good things about that show there we go the briars beautiful cost beautiful uniform there and here we have HP Woodcraft the Wood Elf team you go, very scantily clad. Just showing off, if you ask me. There's the war dancer. He'll definitely be one to worry about. And of course, we've got the enormous tree there. <laughs> Not only only up to his waist in the camera. So let's see where the flip goes. He's in the air. What does the referee say? Okay. What? What? Zero team <laughs> re rolls. They only have the one. Oh, well, that's sad. One, three, three. So we get nothing. Okay. 
That's 100k wasted for this first half. <laughs> yeah. Focus. Okay, I'm focusing, yeah. Oh, let's get uh, the grid up. So there's no additional skills because this is the... For both teams, this is their first match of this tournament. Mm. Whoops. Get the trees up on the front line there. So we're getting the ball in this first half. I don't really need to have him there. We pop him there. someone there just in case they get blitz. Put these chaps here just in case they get perfect defense. Okay. I don't know. I haven't really played halflings very much so I'm kind of hoping this is pretty good. We've got a good concentration of halflings in the middle. These will be giving assists just to get three dice on those wood elves. If we can get rid of some wood elves nice and early, that would be great. Remains to be seen. A wonderful kick there by the war dancer. Ah. So that's the wood elves with two re rolls. That's two re rolls more than they need. But there we go. Send him over there just to keep an eye on that ball. Let's get three dice here. The rookie tree man, Stubby Cedar Crown. Gets a good hit. Knocks his player back. Decides to follow. It's a good shot. Oh, my word. What an opening for the halflings. Wow. Ebony Nyogtha is dead. Whoa. The very first shot from Stubby Cedar Crown. Definitely making a statement there. Woo. Absolutely fantastic. Willow Shakewood now has the pressure. How are they going to do? She gets a good hit too. Oh, it's a KO. Two for two. Wow. Halflings OP. Awesome. Okay, a really good start for the halflings there. Um, wow. Wow. First block, kill. Second block, KO. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could actually get a two dice blitz on the tree as well. How am I going to, if I hit him to here, I can try and get some people. Gather them around. Oh, no one's going to look after the ball, though, if I do that. Ooh. Okay. Maybe we should try and protect the ball, I suppose, if we must. How are we going to do that? It's got this guy here. So let's put a dude there. Put a little guy here. This fella can go there. He can go and fill that gap. This little boy can rush back to that corner. So we've got a lovely little cage. It's a little anti-leap cage, just in case, because I don't trust the war dancer. Beautiful pickup by My Milo Chernhill there. We've got these two little stragglers. Probably going to leave them where they are. Wow, what an opening turn for the long bottom briars. Some brilliant shots there. That's uh, yeah. Um, that's what I'm worried is going to be the case. Eflow, is uh, that's it. That's the first cup. First, all the good dice used up, and that, that's the tree. Bulletwood, Zushikon, rooting. <laughs> the start of the Wood Elf team. That's him effectively out of the game. He's not basing anyone, and he isn't going anywhere. Wow. So for the rest of that this drive, that's it. He is staying put.
That's great news for the Briars. They're going to be pleased with that. Here we go. Blitz from the Wardance is going to start trying to remove some players. Just the push for now. Fogbelly Appleback getting shoved away there. Wardancer now making sure that he's somewhere where he can uh, start being a bit of a threat. Moves in behind the trees. There we go. Back to the safety of the team. Thanks for joining us, Eflo. Nice to have you watching. So, a brilliant first turn for the halflings. Can they keep it up? That's the question. Can they keep this up? Ward answer is about there. It's only two dice, and of course he is blodged, so it's unlikely that we will be hitting him and taking him down. slow the trees are. Mm. I really want to move him unless I have to. There we go. Let's see if Stubby Cedar Crown can do as good a job as they did last time. It's another good hit. I think we'll follow that one. Oh, it's another brilliant hit. Oh, it's another injury. Mahogany Gloon has broken ribs. <laughs> That's him out for the rest of this game. That is two for two from Stubby Cedar Crown. Incredible. Elwidge Arena, interested to see them set up so centrally. Yeah, well, that's true. It would make sense for them to try and put some pressure on the sides there. They've decided not to go for that. I wonder why. There you go. Just trying to make sure we've got that leap proof cage. Willow Shakewood, well behaved, manages to uh, keep her cool, not take root, start moving up the pitch. just in case the ball gets popped out there. It's a little bit open over here, so I might move him down just to about there. There you go. That's Fogbelly, Appleback, racing across the field. And I think that's going to be the team. Wow. Yeah, some, uh, some serious, uh, seriously great shots there. So three elves removed so far. One KO, one with broken ribs. So they're going to be missing next game. And one dead. So, Ebony Neogoth Neogtha is going to be, uh, fans of his are going to be in mourning. We've got Cherry Sinothoglis will hopefully be coming back. And then Mahogany Gloom with the broken ribs. You go, the players moving in. It looks like they're going to go for the three dice with the War Dancer. It's a good shot. A good hit from the War Dancer there. It's a great shot from the ward answer. Jokriaduk Git Dimmock is stunned. One of the two Dimmock twins. Definitely one to watch out for. Yeah, I suppose that's true, Eflo. Yeah, he hasn't even had a chance to get any fans yet. Hey. 
going to be him dodging away. Manages to get away from the tree. Three, four, five, six. I think it's just going to be one dice, but maybe they fancy their chances. Here we go. Just a push. And he is going to stay put. Willow Shakewood. Struggles a little bit. The turf looks to be Charlie Dimmock. I'm, ga I'm gonna sound off on that. I'd maybe I don't know who that is. Uh, don't hate me, Charlie Dimmock. What can I say? So who have we got here? That is a thrower. And the thrower currently has plus one strength. So six, I'd need two, three assists. That's a lot of assists. <laughs> what happens if that goes wrong? He gets two dice on the ball. little bit close to the side but I'm not too worried rather than move you and risk that dodge just yet I'll move him in there it's a good shot by the tree oh a great shot again oh my word another removal wow I'll tell you something, folks. I'll tell you something. Stubby Cedar Crown is on a roll. Incredible scenes from him. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to say. Let's just end the turn there, I guess. Oh, hi there, Percy. Big fat ginger lady works with Alan Titchmarsh. Okay. Ooh, some real dodgy moves being done by the elves here. Um, yeah, nice to have you joining us, Percy. It's been an absolutely cracking start for the halflings. Really, really impressive for them. Here we go. Here comes a leap. Whoa, whoa, dear. Struggling with the leap a little bit. The landing there not quite working out for him. And he makes it. He's in. Gets a hit. Gets the knockdown. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. The catch has got the ball. No way. That's elves, right? That's how they work. The catcher's only strength two. This is not the end of the world. There's going to be a lot of dodges now. Yeah, we have one death. One uh, miss next game. Ooh, successfully dodged there. And two KOs. Hey. Here we go. Just a shove. Galbo quiver, gra quiver grass getting shoved out of the way there. And last but not least, Silky Oak. Uh, sorry, Balsa. Having a look. Manages to sneak away. Okay.
stay put for now. There it is. Just the push. There. There's a lot of go for it. There's a lot of go for it either way. Mm. Oh, that's a lot of dice just to get in there. Uh, let's have a look, see what happens. Ooh, manages to sneak past. Ooh, he's struggling with the go for it. He's trying to push himself. He's getting to a good position and fails it again. Stunning himself in the process. So, that's going to be a score for the elves. Woo! And it was looking so good, but there we have it. It's a sh good shot by Hornbeam. Sebastian races across the field for the hit. It's just a push. Dodging out of the way. And the war dancer racing away. Frankly, like a coward. Oh, don't worry about it, Elwood Gerino. Ooh, a good shot there from Ocken Nug. So it's going to be a throw. Okay, what a turn of events. Could push for three to reach that guy. Let's give it a go. What's the worst that could happen, eh? Here we go. Let's see if we can't get him near the ball carrier. Off he goes, flying through the air there. Stubby Cedar Crown landing on his feet. Like it ain't no thing. Beautiful. Hmm. Could get a decent shot on the ward answer there. Get him next to the tree. Should put the fear of God into him. Just a push, but that's okay. If he goes, I think we'll stay. Here we go. One die blitz. Fog belly appleback. Race is over. Yeah. What do we do? Reroll it. Even if we get a boat down. Oh, it's just a push. Never reroll a push. That's what they say. Decides to use dodge. For shame. 
And then, last but not least, get this little guy down here. Ooh, just manages to sneak away from the tree. There we go. So it's not exactly a lot of pressure for the elves to have to deal with, to be honest. But it's something. I think so too, Percy. Yeah, I should be two down by the time we get four turns in. So we're doing a pretty good job of it so far. I kind of expected that we would get turned over fairly easily with the low strength. And that's okay. Oh no, Milo Chernhill is injured. Ouch. Fractured skull. I don't think I want to use an apothecary on him. He's minus one armor point. I think that might be the end for Milo Chernhill there. Ouch. Good shot by the Wardancer. There we go. That's Balsa Bassetton having a go himself. Trying to get out of a bit of a sticky situation there. So we've got we've got quite a big spread around the pitch. I don't want to lose out on the action. Here we go. Going for the dodge to score. And of course makes it. And that's a touchdown for HP Woodcraft. Ash Atmak Naka racing into the end zone. They scoop the ball out of the halfling hands and straight down the field for the score. Oh, there's Chernhill. His career finished before he even got off the ground. One Wood Elf back, so it's not too bad. Although a numbers advantage for Halflings isn't particularly great unless the number of opposition players is zero. So there we are. Nice high kick. It's a little bit deep down the field. Let's see if you can catch it. Ooh, nearly. It was a good effort. A good effort. Okay. See if we can get some more big hits. Oh, <laughs> that's not a big hit. That's not what we want to see. Um, I use my last reroll for that. Uh, I guess so. Good. For those of you who can't see, we rolled skull, both down skull into both down skull, both down. Good. That's what we come here for. <laughs> okay, well the elves aren't getting to the ball just yet at least. So that's something. far back uh, too far forward okay the elves sweeping around the sides Ooh, just about manages to make the dodge that was Ash Atlak Naka who just scored earlier had a little bit of difficulty there Going in for the hit. 
Manages to sneak past Fogbelly. Knocks out Welby Heatherto. It's not the end of the world. They do have a babe. So it's not unlikely that he'll be back. Even so, we've got a reserve still. Bulletwood once again taking root. He has not been in the game at all this half. There we go. Well, it's definitely eventful. <laughs> that was my opponent there saying he doesn't know why he bothers trying to move the tree. And I'm inclined to agree with him. Seems to me to be a little bit of a waste of time. But there we go. That's Galbo Quivergrass being knocked down there. It's over to the halflings. Um, hmm. What to do here? One, two, three, four, five. Go, go. Short pass there. He races off. Everybody goes and joins in. They all clap each other on the back and tell each other about how wonderful a game they had. That's what I think is definitely going to happen. So he would go one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's about as far as they can get. Two, one, two, three, four, five. So it's all going to stay around there, to be honest. <laughs> mm. Okay. And if everything messes up, what are we going to do? got no re-rolls left so really want to protect that ball as everything's going to stay over there anyway we might as well move these folks into position now There goes nothing. Oh, he struggles with the ball. That's okay. It's a good job he had friends there. That was Cotter Patch Petal struggling with the ball. Scooped up by Fogbelly Appleback. And that's a name we keep hearing in this game. Fogbelly Appleback having a pretty good go in his first match. Definitely want to be put forward for MVP. And this will be the War Dancer coming in, hoping to get the hit that he wants. It's pretty likely with three dice. We're about to find out. It's a good shot there by Okan Nug. Good hit. Oh, the ball caught there by Silky Oak Cathilla. And these, uh, these Wood Elves just don't let up. They do not let up. So you were saying before, Percy the Troll, I should be two down by four turns in. Turns out I'm going to be two down by eight turns in. So, there we go. Probably should have stood him up. Oh, it's a good shot. Fogbelly Appleback. Oh, maybe that's why we keep hearing him, because there's two of them? Uh, just badly hurt. How, is it, how did that happen? Two Fogbelly Applebats. Well, there you go. That's why we keep hearing that name. Because there's two players by that name on the field. Okay. That's Lime Urn racing around there. Val Sebastian managing to get away there. Folks, I think there's only really one thing to do. There we go. Look at that. Stubby Cedar Crown has been on fire. Oh dear. Willow Shakewood, on the other hand, not feeling up to the challenge just yet. One, two, three, four. Mm. Ooh, 
This is it. Manages to sneak past the opposition. Goes in for the hit. Ah. Oh. It's not good enough. He'll follow up anyway. Mm. That's unfortunate. But there we go. And that's going to be it for the halflings. So they had a good try. I thought they fought really well. But not quite hard enough this time around. Okay, Lime Urn going in for the hit. That's a thrower for that team. Whoa. So good job they kept the re-roll. Managing to push the players out of the way a little bit. Some sneaky chain pushes there. Now the war dancer, Okan Nug, manages to get the hit. He has been on fire. He has been definitely the star of this half. Ooh, and as if to punctuate that, Cotter Patch Petal is knocked out by the war dancer. Yeah, I was hoping for the one all, but, uh, you know, with that war dancer, it's likely that they were going to be able to score. So that's Ash at Lucknaka scoring again. Touchdown there for HP Woodcraft. And that is Ash at Lucknaka. He's going to be leveling up at the end of this match. Look forward to seeing what he gets. There we go. Well done to the Wood Elf team. We get to see how many halflings going to come and join us from the KO box. So a couple of injuries. One serious, one just badly hurt. Both come back. Excellent. Good lads. One dead and injured. And that Wood Elf is staying off the field. So they're down players. But like I said before, that's not terrible for the Wood Elves. They're still pretty good. And that's what we want to see. Two re-rolls for the long bottom Briars. And HP Woodcraft loses their one reroll. Um. Okay, so setting up our team in defense. Really know what to do with these trees to be honest they're pretty good at controlling the center of the field I should say as well, um, Van der Vernum is a very good player as well. So that's worth keeping in mind. Surely Wood Elf Tree Man should have just stayed rooted middle of the pitch at half time. Yeah, that would have been nice. But I guess uh, maybe the gardener came out, pulled out his big spade. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to have a really short break. Um, I've still got half my tea to finish. So I'm just going to have that clock run down just for a minute. And then Van der Vernum is going to set up his team. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the camera while I'm eating because no one wants to see that. Um, but if you need to go and grab a drink, if you want to uh, go to the bathroom or anything like that, now's the time to do it. We're just going to take a really short break. I'll leave the camera on and that way you can still, the um, screen on, so that way you can still see setups if uh, Van der Vernum decides he wants to do that. But for now, I'm just going to turn the camera off. I'll be back 
very soon. Okay, folks. We're back and ready to go. <gasps> oh, I ate my chips very quickly. A really bad case of the hiccups. Whoa. Okay, who's kicking it? Low throat, twin toes. Oh dear. This isn't going to go well. Ooh, long bottom briars. Long bottom briars get to set up. Whichever way that they like. <laughs> we got the war dancer down on that side, so I'm thinking that's the su side that they want to go down. Yep. It's got to stay legal. Just make it however I want. Just move these back a little bit.
Okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. Where do I want this guy to be? Kind of wanting to be like a safety. So let's keep him back. And let's go with that. Okay, now all we need is a failed pickup, a good throw from the halfling, scoop up the ball from under the elf's nose, and race into the end zone. Keep your fingers crossed. We've got five rerolls this half. Five rerolls. Must must be able to score a couple of touchdowns in five turns uh, with five rerolls. Setting up the three dice hit. Here comes the nefarious Okan Nug. Jamie thinks my setup is good. And who's Jamie? Oh, excuse me. Oh, he's four. So maybe don't read into that. Oh. Well, you know what? Thank you, Jamie. I very much appreciate the support. Speaking of support, nice segue. Uh, this Twitch channel is now Twitch Affiliate. So thanks to all of the support from you, the people who follow this stream, and the folks who have helped to improve our followership, followership uh, at the Totally Relaxed Blood Bowl League, uh, we can now have things like subscriptions. So no pesky ads and things like that. Uh, so do, if you uh, want to do that kind of thing, get uh, yourself a subscription to our Twitch stream. And you can do that. You get one uh, free Twitch subscription with your Amazon Prime. So if you have Amazon Prime, then, uh, then do that. You know something, Percy? It's funny you say about Bedtime Blood Bowl. I can't tell you the number of times I've fallen asleep watching Blood Bowl matches. And that's not to say because they're boring. But it depends a lot on who's playing. Because, um, I don't know, I get like a Bob Ross moment where it's just so chill. I end up uh, dropping off. That's a good shot there from Little Galbo Quivergrass. A great shot. Ooh. One, two, go for it, go for it to get a hit on the war dancer. What do you think, folks? I say we do it. I just need to make sure I cover my back when this inevitably goes horribly wrong. Maybe not there, though, because that's just going to get in the way. Go for it. Come on, Stubby Cedar Crown. Let's see some more of that amazing cedar action. I want to see it. Oh, it's just a push. Yeah, he can try and uh, leap his way out of that. That's fine. See if I care. Cheeky foul over here. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a good shot. Hornbeam summon us. He's not, uh, he's not gone, but he is stunned. Lotho Twin Toes there, sticking the boot in. Hmm. We'll probably end it there. Let's see what happens. I've kind of... Uh, <laughs> I've not given up on the game, but if I can hurt some players, that might be nice. Now, is Bulletwood Zush 
Zushikon gonna yes that's it that's the first time he's moved this match wonderful racing across the pitch there from the Wood Elf Treeman now, team spread out quite a lot again just keeping an eye on that There's a catcher. Ash at Lucknaka is over there. Might be that they decide they want to try and go for a score with the thrower. Who knows? Yeah, well, that's the thing, Eflo, is that just because we're removing Wood Elves doesn't mean the Wood Elves aren't being a pain in the backside. Uh, the Wood Elves managed to leap into the cage, get a good hit on the ball carrier, Swoop in, snatch the ball away, and race off down the field to score. You know, there's nothing we could do to stop them. And then <laughs> the the halflings failed to pick up the ball after the kickoff, couldn't get it off the ground, um, and the Wood Elves ended up coming in, swooping around the sides, getting at the ball carrier, grabbing the ball, racing into the end zone. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, slimy Wood Elf. Oh, it just boils your blood. Okan Nug, who has been an absolute star this entire game. He's been brilliant. Um, he races off into the distance. What a guy. players over here. Oh, brilliant. Stubby Cedar Crown. At it again. Ooh, a good shot too. Sends his player back. He's going to follow. It's a great shot again from Cedar Crown. Oh, it's another injury. Woo! Unbelievable from the tree. Cedar Crown is having an absolute blazer of a game wow that's amazing two three four five mm, kind of want to stamp on him though Let's see if we can get cedar crown into the match a little bit more Stand him over here. Nice. Good work, buddy. Cedar Crown has been amazing this game. I can't get over it. I really can't. That's a 2 3 4. We're going to need a lot of assists if we're going to take down this tree. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Here we go. With all his friends, Fogbelly Appleback gets a good shot against the tree. He's going to go down like a sack of spuds. One, two, three, four, five. Go and a foul. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six assists. Foul. Come on. Get him! Ooh, it looks like a good shot to me. Oh, it's a great shot. It's a brilliant shot. Absolutely fantastic. Bulletwood stunned there. And again, the referee, none the wiser, is quite happy to just let that unfold. Brilliant work there by the halflings. Wow, I can't get over. Cedar Crown has been huge help. Halflings have access to mutation. They should... For big hand and long legs. That must have been something I said. You know what though? Chaos Halflings would have been an interesting team to see in uh, Blood Bowl. With their chainsaws and the mutations. Here we go. The elves now looking to start making their advance across up the field.
looks like they're going to go for another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did they move eight? War dances. Yes. God, that's disgusting. Gets his player down. That's Okan Nug, who has been knocking it out of the park this whole game. A really brilliant player. Definitely one to watch. Okay. Ball carrier a little bit exposed, to be honest. There we go. That's Ash Atlaknaka running up the field. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Two, three. Mm. Let's get three dice on him. It's a bit too risky. Could just go for the two dice. He's not got any skills. Ball could go against the sideline. I think that's probably what we're going to have to try. It's two go for it's with the tree. That's the scary bit. Stand this guy up. Okay, Willow Shakewood racing down the field. Gets a hit. Let's try that again. There it is. Up against the sideline. Whoa, a good shot too. Another injury for the Wood Elves. They're being minced by these trees. Wow, oh wow, the ball is thrown in. Where's it going to land? Right by the halflings. It's a thing of beauty, folks. One, two, three, four, five. What do you reckon? Yeah. Scoop the ball up, hand it off, throw the player down the field. What are the chances? What are the chances? Get this little guy around here just in case things go wrong and they might yeah. Let's see if he picks the ball up first Ooh, look at that like there was nothing to it like there was nothing to it races the ball up to midfield hands it over Oh, it's a beautiful catch. A beautiful catch. Stubby cedar crown. Moving up. Goes to pick up. But cedar crown is a legend. Let's see just how amazing cedar crown can be. Going for the throw. Over to the side. The throw is not good. Cedar Crown trying to catch the ball. Wow. Okay, the throw wasn't great. Lotho Twin Toes. He's good when it comes to the fouls. Not so great when it comes to being thrown, it turns out. Mm. Bulletwood Zushikot is uh, behaving pretty well. Gets back onto his feet. Here we go. This is Ash at Laknaka looking to try and scoop the ball up. Undoubtedly to get it down to Hornbeam Summonus. He's having a think. First of all, we get a shot from Okan Nug. He's looking for that casualty. He gets a good shot against Jokri Duck Dimmock. Dimmock hitting the ground. It's a great shot against him. Oh, my word. Jokri Duck Dimmock is dead. It can't be, folks. I don't think we can allow one of the Dimmock twins to die. Let's see what the Apothecary can do. That's more like it. Takes him over to the subs. Wow. I got too greedy. You're probably right, E-Flow. You're probably right. 
We're about to find out just how much of an impact that is going to have. Keeping in mind, the Wood Elves don't have any re-rolls, but it's not like they need very many. Here we go, we've got a Blitz coming in here. From Silky, it's a good hit. Knocks down Welby. Oh, Welby Heathertoe is injured. Just badly hurt. In halfling terms, that means he's safe. So it's just the three plus pickup. No rerolls. I imagine he's going to go for the throw. No, he's just going to dodge out. Picks up the ball with ease. Sweeps past Cedar Crown. Goes for the throw. Come on, Largo Forkson. Ah, Largo Forkson not able to catch the ball. But who can? That'll be Sassafras Cthulhu. Hands the ball off. It's a two plus catch. Oh, fails the catch. Wow, okay. I didn't see that one coming. Hmm. My oh my. What do we do now? Five, six. That would make seven. Move him in there. Stand him up. Let's go for the hit against the tree. It's another good shot. The tree's going down. Stay where we are. Knocks the tree to the floor. Catcher, only strength two, of course. Can't uh, knock an elf down. It's just a push. It's one less tackle zone to have to contend with there. have a look see if you can't pick the ball up it's a four plus oh look at that oh he has a little think and then does a moonwalk to the back okay um i think what do i want to do there one two three i'm gonna get cedar wood there that would be nice one two three four five six seven eight think that the war dancer can get him wherever he goes to so it's going to be about protecting him really so let's get shakewood who's down the field to mark the war dancer and then i really want to see cedar crown moving up the field Plugging that gap. Weren't sold by the pre-match posters. <laughs> oh no! That's Cedar Crown struggling to get the extra little push that he needs. Just about makes it this time. So I think that's where we're going to leave it. Wow. Hi, sir. Lags a lot. Nice to have you joining us. Flings. Yes. Yeah, they've had some, they've had great work with the removals. So as far as removals go, they look a lot more like orcs. But with the scoreline against the Wood Elves, it's to be expected. The Wood Elves have been on form. The War Dancer, Okan Nug, has been excellent this match. 
Yeah. The halflings have taken a few hits too. But uh, yeah, one dead wood elf. One or two serious injuries. A couple of badly hurts. And that KO. So uh, it's, it's mostly down to Cedar Crown. Three casualties in this one game. Including that death from the very first block. Very first block of their first match was a dead wood elf. And you know what? If No matter what happened the rest of the game, I was going to be happy. I'm just going to flick a light on just because it's getting a little bit dark outside. I'd hate for you to not be able to see my f beautiful face. Okay. Now the halflings are still in some hot water here. The war dancer can definitely make his way across and do a lot of hurt. Oh, good shot there from Hornbeam. A good shot from Hornbeam. An excellent shot, in fact. And that is a KO. And Hornbeam has been dishing out a lot of pain. Patch Petal is knocked out. There we are. There's Jockery Duck Dimmock. Almost died on us until the Apothecary sorted himself out. Oh, this shirt. It's uh, its not a NAF shirt, actually. Uh, this is a... You can see. This is the Mayhem Blood Bowl League that I run in Birmingham. Of course, it's got my name on there. Um, yeah, and that's what this, uh, this competition has been put together by folks from uh, the Mayhem Blood Bowl League. I can't take the credit for it. It's uh, something that they've all been working together with, especially Bruce Leet. As he's known on here. Ooh. And I have to take the boat down. Oh, nice. Cthulhu stunned there. Okay. Right. It's only strength two. Only strength two. Maybe. Just maybe. One. Two. And throw. So if he comes around help out. We've got a blitz here. The elves will be hoping for the one in nine when it comes to trying to dodge away. Whew. Stand this guy up. Little Thunko Lackstern. Okay. Make sure. Ooh, he manages to sneak away, does quiver grass. Turns around to hand the ball over to Fogbelly Appleback. Fogbelly Appleback happy to take the ball off his friend there. Okay, come on, Stubby Cedar Crown. No! <laughs> Stubby Cedar Crown struggling to move across. goes to throw his teammate here we go the player is off he's flying through the air folks a beautiful throw and he lands on his feet and guess where he is folks that's right center of the field right in place to score a touchdown for the Longbottom Briars fog belly knocking it out of the park what a score there we go back on the board 2-1 to HP Woodcraft the score there. Appleback has been excellent. Appleback and Cedarwood, definitely the two players who've been smashing it out of the park here. Wow. That's a, a few hurt halflings there. It's not quite enough to wake up. The Blood Wiser isn't quite enough to wake up that halfling. We've got a Wood Elf back. So no knockouts for them. Wow. We managed... I just... Let's just take a moment there. The halflings managed to turn over the wood elves. Okay? And then score after turning them over. What? What? Craziness. Craziness. Wow. Okay, so... I guess we go for the same again. Not very many wood elves left on the team. Go 
over here, just very aware of their ability to race around the sides. I kind of want to open them up, but at the same time I don't. They can race down there, they can set up all the way down there. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're just going to stay there. I think that's how we're going to roll. Move them back just a little bit. There we go. So we'll go with that. I don't know if Jamie's still watching, but uh, I'd appreciate his feedback if he has any. Yes, sir, lags a lot. Some great shenanigans. That was uh, pretty satisfying. I'm not going to lie. So it definitely helped taking the re-roll away from the Wood Elves. Now, bearing in mind, they did only start with one. So it's pretty ballsy of the Wood Elves to try with just the one re-roll to begin with. But we managed to snatch that off them in the second half. Didn't get any re-rolls from the Chef in the first half. So I can only imagine that the Wood Elves were very well fed and didn't feel like they needed to take anything from him. So there we go. Wood Elves just getting set up in attack. Deciding where they want to go what their route's going to be. Be interesting to see how the tree gets on. Lotho Twin Toes. Here we go. Good lad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not Funko Laxton. Oh, the fans throw a rock at him. Dirty Wood Elf fans break his ribs. He's missing the next game. Disgusting there. Would you expect anything less of the elves? I don't know. You know what? It could have been a halfling. Uh, one of the halfling two players. <laughs> An amazing. I was saying about taking root. And there we have it. Uh, what do you get? Just a push? Uh, you can push me back. See you later. Wow. That's Bulletwood Zushakon. Zush Rooted again. Yeah, it was a boulder, yeah. I love that picture. The throw rock picture is great. Whenever I thought of throw a rock, I was thinking like a brick. And that picture really sums up what it should be. A great big boulder thrown through the air. Well, that frees up Willow Shakewood. Both the trees are going to be able to do some damage, hopefully. Really interesting to see what happens here. Are they going to go and try and do the tactic of racing the ball down the side again? Already had a removal on this side, so they picked the side well. I'm thinking maybe there was a little bit of uh, a little bit of sneaky bribery going on there. No doubt the Wood Elves had paid somebody to throw a rock at that halfling. That's what I think. Great hits again by Okan Nug. It's not difficult for him. Oh, it's another good shot. Every single time he's knocking it out of the park. Jokri Demuk is stunned. Here we go. This is a big one. Hornbeam summon us. He's going to try and pick the ball up. Is he going to do it? One, two, three, four. Tree can get to there. With relative ease. Hmm. Okan Nug looking to move a little bit further forward. Here we go. This is going to be a big one. Hornbeam summon us. No pressure. Scoops up the ball. It's not an easy pickup, but he makes it. Goes, I imagine, for the throw. He must be going for a throw. Surely. Ooh. Sassafras Cthulhu struggled a little bit there. Interesting he didn't go for the throw. Not going to lie, I was expecting a throw there, but there we go. We go. Um. Mm. I get him there. 
Nope, it's probably not going to be enough to stop them, to be honest. Yeah, won't be expecting the tree blitz. One, two, and in. Just need to figure out where I want to put this little guy. Probably going to put him... Uh, just a, a regular elf behind the tree. I mean, it's a two-die blitz. I would be it would be remiss if I didn't uh, make a go for it. Oh, we'll re-roll that one. See if we can get a better shot. We do knocking the player back. I think we'll stay put. Ooh, knock the player back there. And the ball into two tackle zones. So that's not great. Yeah, if I'd have followed up, that would have been nice. But there we go. We weren't to know, were we? Um. Yeah, behind the tree is Catcher Sassafras Cthulhu. really like to do is get in the way of a pass if there was going to be one. Well, here goes nothing. Lotho Twinto, see if he can live up to his name. Sneaks past the tree. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's the tackle zone on the ball. Beautiful. Well, last time I was hanging out by a tree, he punched me to death. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, are you finding me a bit quiet, Bruce Lee? Uh, the volume seems to be okay. I can turn it up a little bit. I don't want to turn it up too loud. Hmm. Here we go. The Wood Elves having a look to see what they can do. Get that ball shifted. All right, Bruce Lee. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's coming through a bit quiet. A massive thank you, Sir Lags, a lot for the follow. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. For those of you who joined who haven't heard, we are now Twitch affiliate. Wow, Okan Nug again with the great hits. I wonder if he's going to have another. He is. Wow, another armor break. He's been doing really well this game as that war dancer. Managed to get the ball off the halflings. Yeah. So, if uh, you weren't here when I was saying before, we're now Twitch affiliate. Thanks a lot to all of you who are following and for the big boost that we got from Totally Relaxed Blood Bowl League. Thank you very much for the subscription, Bruce Lee. I was just about to say, as a result of our Twitch affiliate, you can now subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll let you push me back. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel. So, if that's something you want to do, then that's great. But the most important thing is you know that I'm really happy for all the support that you all give me. And it's absolutely fantastic. It makes this so much better knowing that you are all enjoying the stream. Okay, sorry, other Chris. Well, I don't know when it comes to like the... Ooh, nice. Nice little pick up there. Now the other elves are going to have to go around to try and help him out. Um, and they do. Just. Yeah, I don't know what, you know, it's difficult with uh, some of you on Twitch. I know your names, but I don't, do you want your names being used? But Other Chris, okay, I'll call you that from now on. Yeah, thank you very much, Other Chris, for the subscription. Okay. That's fine. He struggles to get up a little bit. One, two, three. I just need one assist. I'm wondering if I should throw someone. I 
I just don't feel like it's going to be enough. One, two, three, four, five, go, go. One, two, three, five, go for it, go for it. It's not quite going to make it. Five, go, go. So a lot of go for it. But that's really the only way we're going to be able to get a decent shot on the ball carrier. So let's have a look. Let's see how Riffo Dimmock does. Ooh, beautiful. Sweeps past his opponents there. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Cedar Crown finally uh, gets his uh, gets takes root. Here we go. Let's see. Largo Forkson. Come on, buddy. He makes it. Makes it all. Oh, it's not what we want. Really need a knockdown. Just gonna get a push. That's all we're gonna get. There we have it. Let's push there. Face down here. Looks like it's going to be 3 1. Let's have a cheeky go for it from Fogbelly Appleback. Is he going to make it? He does. What a hero. Clear him out of the way. Clear him out of the way. And then they're away, aren't they? Mm. It's unfortunate I couldn't get a throw in. I'm wondering what to do here. Let's see if we can't force the turnover. Yeah, that's right, Sir Lags a lot. Uh, launch a fling into the cage. That would have been great, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm f he is out of rerolls. Um, Van der Vernum, also known in the Twitch chat as Jammy Blodger. He did only start with a single reroll. So he's already playing it pretty close. And um, yeah, he lost. He kept that reroll in the first half, lost the reroll in the second. We took it off him with our Halfling Master Chef. Along with another re-roll uh, that we got from the chef. No luck with the chef in the first half. Zero re-rolls from the chef. Can only assume that the Wood Elves had a hearty stew before they came to play. Okay, I think it's still only going to be... Oh no, that is three dice. It's a good hit again. Oh, Galbo Quivergrass is knocked out. Ouch! It's just a push, but a push is enough to get him away. I'm now going to be hoping... Ah, no. It's a good shot from Ash at Luck. And that's going to be the Elves into the score. It's a fantastic shot against Largo Forkson. He obviously wasn't very impressed at uh, Largo Forkson racing in there. It's just badly hurt. So quite, it's been quite a bloody game. And here we go. Sassafras Cthulhu. Racing into the end zone. Touchdown for HP Woodcraft. That is a score by Sassafras Cthulhu. 3-1 to the Wood Elves. And now a chance for the Halflings. Perhaps to show their quality. It's not going to be easy with no re-roll. But you never know. We might get a re-roll out of kickoffs no KOs excellent both come back the blood wiser kegs no doubt having something to say about that look at that that's more like it we like to see a lot of injured elves that's what we all like um, oh well there we go five plus five plus who needs kegs so the wood elves are setting up I imagine they're gonna set up to try and stop the throw it's not terribly likely that it'll uh, come off unless we get a reroll from either the fans or the coaches having a little word with the players before they get going. That's right, Sir Lagslark. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, that, I was hoping for the skulls. They didn't come. That's okay. It's, you know, one in nine would have done it. But that's all right. Here 
here we go. They're just setting up a little bit further back in case the throw gets through. Okay, nice little screen there by the elves, hoping to get in the way of the halfling throw. Just not enough players, is there? Okay. Might have to have the tree on the line then. We'll just re evaluate how we're going to do that. Okay, so. The ball goes back here. One, two, three, five. Yeah, so. From these, one, two, three, four, five, go, go. That's about as far. It's about as far as they want them to be. Gotta hope for a good kick. Oof. Put one tree on the side to throw, another on the line of scrimmage. Maybe, yeah, I'm thinking with this, I should be able to get a two dice block with one of these and even if that just pushes him out of the way that's going to help me a little bit to move forward put one in the wide there like that not sure not sure let's see how this goes Let's see how this goes. Got to hope for a favourable kick to start with. So, here we go. It's a kick from the War Dancer. We've got the re-roll. The kick looks shallow. What? Okay. Wow. Uh, this could be on. One, two, three, four, five and a handoff. We've got the block there. Two dice block. <laughs> That's... You know what? I thought to myself, what are the chances that that's going to happen? And it did. Reroll. We get a pow, but that's the reroll gone. Here we go. Potter, Patch Petal, going in, scoops the ball up, hands it off, it's a good catch, Willow Shakewood, she's going to move forward to throw the halfling, she makes it, throw teammate, scoops up her player, where is she going to throw him, I want to try and get it as far as we can, very concerned that we're going to land on a player. Oh, it's a bad throw by Shakewood. Oh, dear. Galbo Quivergrass hits the ground. Stunned. A bad throw by Shakewood there. And that is it for the Halflings. They were so close. Oh. There we have it. The Wood Elves go away with the win. HP Woodcraft with the win. 3-1 to the Wood Elves absolutely brilliant well that was my first competitive game with the halflings that was awesome let's have a look at the, over at the locker room 50k winnings not bad our treasury is now a quarter of a million wow look at that shakewood getting the mvp i don't know cedarwood probably the mvp or fogbelly as well but uh, that's nice both trees leveled in the first game that's really nice. Sassafras getting a level up there. I think that uh, Sassafras needed it really. He did get that third touchdown, but probably wanted to try and catch up with uh, 
um, the other catcher there. What was the other catcher? Ashat Laknaka, yeah. Okan Nug doing really well. Hopefully, uh, he will uh, have a great, great couple of games next and find that level up. So let's have a look. Let's see what these trees have got. Both trees leveled in their first. Get oh right, I need to wait until uh, until. Uh, until uh, Van der Vernum okays the match. Um, you know, I didn't think of that. I could buy an upgrade for the stadium. The Block and Decker Stadium. I hope you'll appreciate that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just need to wait for the match to be confirmed. Still not confirmed yet. Maybe he's looking at the uh, statistics and things. Oh, no, there we go. So, Milo Chernhill, I think he's going to have to go. I'm sorry, but the AV5, we just can't have it. Funko Laxstern, sadly, is going to be missing this game, uh, next game. But the two level up Cedar Crown and Shakewood. So, Cedar Crown first. Here we go. Drum roll. Three. Movement three? Yeah, you think so, other Chris? You think a movement three tree? Yeah? <laughs> I suppose it definitely makes it more reliable. Huzzah, you're in agreement. Movement. Wow, okay. I guess we're gonna you sure you don't think I should take armor value, you know? Alright, let's take the movement. Exactly, yeah. No roll to stand up then. Wow. So, Cedar, Cedar Crown is off to an amazing start. Now, let's have a look and see how Willow Shakewood's got on. Willow Shakewood with her level up. Are we ready, folks? Is it going to be... Ex is it going to be something exciting? Here we go. <gasps> a double! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's a double for the tree! I don't believe it! Oh, no, this is terrible. Now I've got loads of choices. Now, oh, what do I do? do I, I mean, do I take block? Do I take... Because, you know, we've got accurate there as well. Um, oh, my days. Uh, there's also... Uh, what was it? Nerves of Steel is, is available, I think. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You think block... Okay, block or pro, because nerves of steel, he can throw a halfling in the tackle zone. Ooh. Give him something from agility. <laughs> well, I could give him dodge, and then later on I give him break tackle, and that's it. He just gets into your cage. Block, guard, multi-block. Mmm. Mmm. So lags a lot. I like that thinking. <laughs> you vote nerves of steel. Fling trees. Uh, uh, they don't have loner fling trees. Um, only wood trees do. Is that what you meant, other Chris? Man, this is a really tricky one. Do I... Do I... I mean, what, what do I make him? Do I make him the thrower? So he's the halfling thrower with nerves of steel. Do I make him... Do I give him dodge? Ready to give him break tackle on the next level up so that he can break cages? I mean, he's got to get there first. I suppose that's half the problem. Uh, no, halfling trees don't have loner. It's like the ogres on a fling team. 
the ogres on a fling team don't have loner either. And they've got enough against them, right? And without giving them loner. Jump up, yeah. Yeah, Cedarwood kicks ass. Uh, it's Cedarwood, Cedar Crown. Yeah, Cedar Crown is uh, nailing it. I'm really... I don't know what to give. I don't know what to give my tree. Yeah, so if, if you were to ask anybody, they'd say block. If you ask Sky Blue Monty, Monty says you've got to take Nerves of Steel because the halfling throw becomes so much easier. That's a good point. Gibbos Gazarath. Gibbos Gazarath, that's a really good point. <laughs> Sir Lagzalog with the blitz for the full distance. Oh, I'm stuck between block and nerves of steel. Block is nice. Block's going to help Shakewood get the extra um, SPPs. And I think you had a really good build there, Sir Lagzalog, with the block, um, guard, multi block. Or just block straight into multi block. Because multiple block with block would be really nice. Ooh. I like the idea of the runner tree. I'm totally stuck on this. Nerves of Steel would be good for the pass. And I can throw any halfling that's next to him, pretty much. Doesn't matter about any of the tackle zones he's in. Including on the line of scrimmage, which would come in real handy. Because I don't need to do dodgy blocks. Pushing the damn halflings everywhere. Uh, pushing the damn elves everywhere. I do, to be fair. Mm. I'm stuck on that one. I think I'm going to sit on that one, folks. If you want to find out what I gave the tree... Then you're gonna have to join in, join me next Monday at 6 p.m. I'm gonna leave it for there. I'm gonna have to have a think, but I think what we all can agree on is Milo Chernhill has to go. I'm sorry, Milo. You had, you know, a good, good shot, but it's not to be. So goodbye, Milo. Goodbye, Milo. Do we need to buy another player? Now, I did say. There you go. So Ninja Bread Man was my very first uh, subscriber. So we're going to name the player after him. So Ninja Bread Man. I think Breadman's a Ninja Breadman. That's a nice halfling name. Uh, let's see if I can find. Now I know uh, Ninja Bread Man in real life. So he's got to be. See if I can find a Russell-looking, Russell-looking halfling. Not very many ginger halflings. We're gonna have to go with that one. So this is Ninja Breadman, the new halfling on the team. Only gonna have twelve going into the next match. Don't know whether to buy another one. All right, Oli Jarino, thank you ever so much for watching. That's really great to see you. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we're just we're gonna leave it there. I think. Uh, someone had a good... Oh, actually, was that you, Sir Lagzalot, who said about getting an upgrade? So, buying an upgrade. And you can buy an enhancement. And your suggestion was... Nuffles Altar. Star players cost 50k less... Oh, you said that. Nuffles Altar. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, oh, it's not going to leave us with very much money, though. Two assistants and two cheerleaders. Mm, yeah, that's a good shout, actually. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold off on Nuffles Altar just yet, because we haven't got a huge amount of cash. And I will buy those... Uh, 
cheerleaders and assistants. So we'll save up the money for the Nuffles Altar next game. Then they don't get re-rolls back on knockout event on kickoff events. Yeah, I, that's a really good point. So thanks for that, other Chris. So Nuffles Altar, I'm probably going to get that next time. So definitely uh, come and see if we can get that cash to get another altar. And more importantly, tune in next Monday, 6 p.m. GMT. That's 5 p.m. UCT. I mean, try and keep up with these time zones. It's crazy. But 5 p.m. Uh, I think it's UCT, uh, UTC. Sorry, 5 p.m. UTC on the Monday. Let's see what Willow Shakewood's picked up, and uh, hopefully we can catch some more of that Cedar Crown action. Uh, but let me thank all of you for watching. Thank you to our new followers. Our new followers uh, are Sir Lags a lot. And we also had a new follower in Rapduck Alderson. So thank you very much to our new followers. Thank you, other Chris, for the subscribe. Much appreciated. Um, that was a great game. Really awesome to have you on board. And I'll catch you uh, next Monday, 5 p.m. UTC, if not before. Oh, actually, before I go, this Sunday... June the 14th at uh, 6 UTC, that's 1800 UTC, join me here for the final of Season 5 Totally Relaxed Blah Blah League. Here, Sunday 14th of June, 1800 UTC. you got to be here. Two amazing teams. Both were underdogs in their respective semi-finals matches. Both managed to overcome what seemed like insurmountable odds against the teams that they were facing and have managed to get a spot in the final. So two really worthy finalists who are going to be going head-to-head. -head. Definitely excellent. I'm glad you got that in the calendar, Gabugs Gazareth. Yep, join me then, June 14th, this Sunday, 1800 UTC. And then we'll be back with the Halfling team on Monday, 5 p.m. UTC. I'll catch you then, and thank you again for watching. It's been great having you.